for this week's live stream that's like a floss tube. I'm in Lori Holt's studio who's the designer of our second cross stitch. This is Farm Girl Fall and we have been stitching every Wednesday. So we have this done, this done. Um, go ahead and do the crow. We've also done the sunflower and then go ahead and do the flying geese today so we can be caught up. And then next week, whichever block from the four remaining get the most comments. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that one on live stream next Wednesday. Um, and again, this is Farm Girl Fall by Lori Hold Cross Stitch. Um, but I'm in her studio and I wanted to give you a really big sneak peek because on um, November 28th, we're gonna be coming out with her Christmas Cross Stitch. I don't have a cover um, because my sample that I made is actually in Austin, Texas, and um, it is getting, I had uh, someone mount it. It is going to fit an 11 by 14 inch frame, so it'll be very um, easy. You can just get a frame from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or um, Joann's, um, so it's gonna fit in an 11 by 14 inch frame. But I wanted to show you, Lori turned them into ornaments, and we are gonna have a YouTube video that's also gonna be available on that day on how to do it. So I'll just show you some of them. So we'll try to zoom in. Yeah. So this is a little ha a gingerbread house from the Vintage Christmas book. So she took blocks from this book that just came out, um, her quilt book, and she's also added her buttons. So there's a button, we'll link, we'll link it below. It's her little tiny, it's these. These, right? No. no. Let's see. <laughs> I saw them here yesterday. They're the little tiny, um, they come in a little bag though. They're called cute little buttons and they're the ones that come in the bag, not the jar. And so they're tiny enough. She made them specially for this. Um, so there's the first one. And there's 12 total. This is an ornament and Santa. And again, the cross stitch pattern is written um, to use her vintage cloth which is Zweigart um, 10, um, 10 count Ada. And she used oatmeal. And we've got a snowman and a gingerbread man. Hang on, let me focus, all right. And candy cane and reindeer, brought, uh, Rudolph. Someone was asking, is there a thread collection to go with it? Yes, so again, if you, um, if you use Farm Girl Fall or her very first one, Happy Farm Girl, and you have the RF Lost collection, you can just keep using this. Um, it's all these colors and you just have to add flesh. I can comment below after the video to tell you the flesh color number because I don't remember off the top of my head. I know it's in Kimberly Stitch Squad. Um, and she used her embroidery uh, Nifty Needles, which are the aqua color on our website. And for this little um, the little hanger, she used her small vintage trim, which is in the cloud color. And then also, I thought y'all would love this. Um, she's showing other ways that you can finish it. So not only is she giving you a pattern that will fit in an 11 by 14 inch frame, but we're going to show you for free on um, YouTube how to make the ornaments. This is just a simple four inch frame that she just bought. Um, and you just set it in, there's nothing. Um, and then this, I think all of you guys are gonna love this. We have a link below to this product on Amazon. It is, um, she got it at Joann's. It is a wide mouth ball jar um, that's called a sharing jar. It has to be the wide mouth for it to work. But she just put 
um, she didn't put the little white frame on it and she just put it in the jar I mean it's really easy and then just a little bit of batting underneath it anybody could do that so you know just like always we're always trying to um, give you options um, you know you've got a pattern you can buy it but hey you can turn it into an ornament you could turn this you know any other cross stitch into an ornament but she has it set to where these finish at four inches and you could also do the same exact thing I mean obviously you don't have a tree you know you probably wouldn't make a, a tree for fall but you could put um, you could frame these you know, it's all meant to work together. You could make a little jar for your Thanksgiving table. So lots of options. Again, that's going to be November 28th. Um, but yes, I would use her B Basics RF Loss Collection. If you don't want all of the SKUs, again, we will have a smaller assortment that we sell. We will also have a DMC set. Um, I have heard comments on Kimberly Stitch Squad, the RF Loss looks better. Um, I didn't try the DMC, so I can't say, but on the DMC, she's using four strands, so you have to take two strands out, which I think might be because it's thicker, um, but the R Floss has been working great for me, and I really like that when I made the Christmas one, because I made both of these, I didn't switch boxes. I just kept using, and then if I ran out of a color, I just bought another one at Fat Quarter Shop, um, just another spool. And I have a lot of empty spools now, which I'm going to do a little tutorial on something cute that we can do with the empty spools when we're done um, with Sew Along. And then I also wanted to, like, um, Corrections Corner. Yesterday I did a live stream in here, and, you know, it's like walking around. I'm like, oh, it's just decoration. It's actually real. I didn't know. I've been here, like, I don't know, 12 times. It's real. I thought it was fake for all these years. Like, I've been coming here for, like, five years. And yesterday, Lily got a drink out of it, and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I had to correct myself because Lori was like, why would I have a refrigerator in my studio that's not real? And so I was like, <laughs> yeah, duh. Um, so anyways, let me know if there's anything else. Um, I will see you guys next week. Just comment below. We'll answer the questions. Um, but we've got a lot to look forward to with cross stitch. And of course, we're not going to abandon the quilting in any way. We are going to be going full force. I'll just be doing two live streams a week. So, um, next Friday, so next Wednesday, I'll do a live stream that's cross stitch and I'll probably show some quilting stuff like new products and stuff. But next Friday, I won't be doing a live stream on Friday because it's Black Friday and I will actually be filling your orders. So, um, have a great weekend, everybody. And I will see you guys next week. Vote for us. Oh, vote for us on the British crafting awards. There's a link below. Also, we're looking for make a wish donations, even if it's just $5 and one other thing. I totally can't remember. Oh, oh, oh. This video was not available on Facebook. We're going to post it there. And the reason why we didn't go live on Facebook was we um, Facebook wasn't letting us connect. And that's also why we started a few minutes late. So, But we're going to post it there. And sorry you didn't get to watch it live. But you still get to see it. Yay.